So, um, last episode, I nearly died, and my goal was to leave this hellhole, get some items, and come back. But as I'm about to leave, guess who's waiting for me? Turns out I did more damage to him than I thought I did. So, uh, yeah. We gotta, we gotta finish this. We gotta finish this. Oh. <laughs> Ah, force lightning. Handle my business. Alright, so he came from this room. Alright. And it looks like how can I help you is stuck on the screen. Hopefully that goes away. Alright, so it's humming and hawing at me. Um, Press a button. Uh, talk to the computer. Ah, okay. Insert my data pad. Uh, talk to my computer. Talk to the computer. All right, nice. Identify the three primary death give death giving seed worlds. Uh, desert, volcanic, and barren. Desert, volcanic, barren. Breaking death seal. Nice. I thought so. The first one wasn't that bad. I just didn't know the word arboreal. I've never, I've never seen that word before. All right. Well, we've broken all the seals. So, uh, yeah. Let's take a look and see what this whole Starforge malarkey is about. Oh god, is my game glitched? It's still sitting. It's still on that, isn't it? Uh, Alright. Alright. It's fine. No, it's fine. The game is perfectly fine. You... You could sit there all you like. I've already started recording, so I don't care. Um. All right, perfect. Let's go. This this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. Okay, that's great, but uh, what is it? Or I, I, I mean, I, I get it's a map, but is this, is this the Star Forge? This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I I still don't really get what this whole Star Forge thing is. What does it do? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Star Forge, whatever it is. See this world here. This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashe, and Tatooine, and his Manan. There are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates. Corrupted data. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Ah, uh, so I guess what you're telling me is these worlds probably hold the key then. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge. But I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge in some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Star Forge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Probably. All right. We finished the mission. Granted, I almost died last episode, so that was fan-fucking-tastic. Always down with that shit. Nemo, my friend, I'm sorry for your loss. 
But don't worry, we got the job done. It's all good. Now, I could go back, but uh, there are some uh, Sith jackass. There are some Mandalorian jackasses out there. We still got to deal with because apparently, Mandalorians are assholes and don't stop until you take out their leader. Oh come on, game, really? Thankfully, I don't really care because they're not—they're not really gonna kill me. Um, we'll go this way. I have a vague idea where the rest of the Mandalorians are. I—I I do mean vague. It's not a great idea. But it's fairly vague as to where they are. I think this is roughly around where I was last time I did this, isn't it? Um, yeah. Let me check my map. Yeah, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head to this marker. Yeah, this one. We're gonna go straight south. Hope for the best. What in the world? Is that a body? I mean, as long as it's not another fucking uh, bullshit that I gotta deal with. I don't. Oh, good. It's just normal cath hounds. Excellent. I am absolutely okay with normal ass dick cath hounds. Because these guys are at least killable. The thing I had to fight, the, uh, the white one, the albino one, yeah, fuck that. That was actually stupid. I regret ever walking into that nightmare of a hellscape. Alright. Uh. You know, since we're on the metallic ground, what if this guy, what if this uh, poor dude's like the kid? Because wasn't that their problem? Like, the son ran off or some shit and they couldn't find him? And they thought the other family killed him? Dead settler. Oh shit. Cassius Cassius Diary. Uh oh. I, I think I know what this is. But as always, I want to read it for myself. So we gotta find it in this mess of items. Ah. Here we go. Cassius Diary. Up. Ah, this is it. The Diary of Cassius Sandro. Uh, amateur archaeologist, it details his efforts to discover the source of the ancient ruins found across the surface of Dantooine. Upon, re upon reading it, you gather that he had found some correlation between the ruins and something called the rock. Well, he's dead now, so whatever he found clearly couldn't have worked out that well for him. You're never going to sell me that, uh... Your, uh, your work is successful if you end up dead while doing it. That is not the sign of a successful job. That's the sign of you being dead. And uh, here's the thing about death, everybody. It's permanent. You usually stay dead. When you die, that is it. There is no second chance. It's religion or not, folks. Um, it's, it's one of the main reasons I think the Jedi's philosophy is so fucking hollow. Because at the end of the day, boys and girls... When you die, you can believe whatever you want about death. Oh, found him. Found him. Yeah, this is them. This is absolutely them. They're back here, aren't they? Okay. Uh, I know where to go. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Ebon Hawk. We're going to go get some equipment. And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to give these guys a royal blasting, the likes of which they've never seen before. Don't worry, Bastila. I'll deal with you later. But right now, we got to go gear up before I take care of these assholes. I don't care about your plight or about the Zerka Corp. They're not my problem. I need your stuff. Um, yep, 
No grenades? Really? No grenades. You have no... No grenades. Absolutely none. Come on, dude. Really? I mean, I get that you're a higher class of dealer over here, but you gotta... You gotta be competitive out here on these streets. You can't just come at me and not have that. That's ridiculous. Now I gotta go... This man got... This man could have had me seven different ways. He got me messed up. This is ridiculous. How do you not carry grenades? Of all the things in your puny... And all the things in your Jedi-approved weapon shop. And yes, I assume he's Jedi-approved. He's literally working out... He's literally working inside of the Jedi compound. He's approved by the Jedi. Which now begs larger questions than just... Oh, the Jedi are okay with his presence. It begs the larger question of... Okay, so who exactly is he selling weapons to? The, the, the villagers? The settlers? Maybe. The Jedi? Doubtful. Ugh. Ugh. Everybody has all the good stuff. Yeah, we're gonna take, like... A couple concussions, cause a couple adhesive. Those are always fantastic. I like me some adhesives. Uh, and a couple Sonics. Uh, gotta go fast, right? Gotta go fast. Uh, no, no, not you, my dear. Karth. There you go, Karth. Now you're you're leveled up. Oh, I don't want to play. I don't want to play as you, Karth. Don't get it twisted. So right now, our primary goal is to take care of these idiot Mandalorians who have been making life miserable for people. I'm mostly doing it because why not? You know, the only thing in this game that kind of bugs me is that, like, I don't know. You never get a sense of progression, so to speak. Like, you know how in, like, most RPGs, even, like, Elder Scrolls to some degree, there's, like, a meter or something? You know what I mean? Like, there's a bar or a total. Like, I have to dig out a menu to find a total of experience I've earned versus how much I I need until I level. You don't really get that in this game. That's not a bad thing. It's just something I've noticed. Where is he going? Oh. Unless he attacks me, I'm not going to waste my time. I really can't be bothered to deal with that right now. Anyways, um, before I got rudely distracted, you know what I mean? Like, this game doesn't really have that. You don't have any way of knowing how much you need on the fly, um, maybe it's to encourage role play and to just play the game versus, you know, looking at like, oh, how much do I need till this? Oh, I'm just gonna kill stuff until I get uh, the next level versus, you know, just telling you. It's not, like, don't take that as being like a massive slight against the game. That's just something I've noticed. So, I don't know if these are the ones I need. I'm pretty sure these might be the last ones. Uh, Battle Stimulant will probably be the one I go with first. Sup, fellas? Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed, and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Oh, so there's no, there's no attempt at, uh, diplomacy?
I don't really care. All right, this guy apparently hits like a damn truck. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, told you it was fine, asshole. Told ya, dickhead. Cars can handle your idiot friends. This is easy. Aha! Uh -huh. I still win, dickhead. All right, guys, get back up. Seriously, get get up. It's important. Perfect. Oh, he's got two lightsabers on him. Damn. Homeboy. Homeboy was strapped. He, he's killed two dudes. He's killed at least two Jedi. Ah, damn. Homeboy. Well, that ends it, folks. Those Mandalorians are officially no longer a problem. They are gone. So we're going to save ourselves the... Uh, no, I don't. I really don't want this right now. Stop it. We're going to save ourselves trip and we'll just go back to town. So, I think that wraps it up. I think that's it. That was that was the big one. Ready. That was definitely the big quest we needed to get done. Now, thankfully, I had been doing it as I went, so I wasn't just wasting my time all this time. I was actually getting it done. You know, lightsabers are pretty pricey, so I might end up getting rid of some of them. Or at least selling off some of the crystals. I need the freaking money. Um, they keep on, like, t teasing you with all this cool shit, but it's like, you need the money to buy it. And they're not exactly cheap, you know. You saw stuff in there for, like, 8k. Like, there's some nice equipment I want. Some high-end... Karth? Karth? Oh my god, Karth, what the hell? Karth, are you okay, Karth? I I know you're. Where the, what the hell? Okay, that's that's not funny. You weren't there. I couldn't go through, Karth. What the hell? All right, I got time. We got time left. We'll knock out two birds with one stone. And uh, I think that'll be it. No, that's not. We still have the whole Metalle thing to deal with. Well, we know the sound draw boy, right? That was the dead settler. So technically, I need to go to the sand draw grounds. Right? And be like, hey, I found your dead son. He was eaten by cath hounds. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you killed some of them. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The council will hear of your deeds. And your greed. That was beneath you. I hope in the future you will strive to be better than this. Screw you, Bastila. I put my work in. Alright. He can't afford to pay me. He doesn't he can't afford to be saved. Uh Well, I guess we gotta go figure out which grounds to go to. Right? Because we have the proof that... Actually, I'll talk to the Jedi Council. Right? Because this is something they gotta deal with anyway. This is more like their problem. I'm not gonna go all the way out there to talk to them. They'll probably try to have me killed and claim I did it. Yeah, screw you, John. Greed or not, homeboy. Guess what? I'm not a Jedi. Well... I mean, I am, but I'm not. Um, have you seen my lightsaber? It's bright red. 
I, I did that myself, by the way. I didn't have to find one. I built it. This was my lightsaber. I did this. Alright? It's my precious. My precious lightsaber. Deal with it. Alright, fellas. Back. I've seen some shit. I've done some shit. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Yeah. Uh, an incomplete star map or some shit. Mention on something called a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must dis We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manam, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. I'm ready to do the council's will, I guess. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Uh, am I to do this by myself, then? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani merely fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. Uh, sure. Uh, when do I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up for the challenge. May the Force be with you. Yeah, uh, one other thing. You must not fail in your But beware that the fate of the galaxy. May the Force be with It is well that you are. Uh, what can you tell me about, um, what can you tell me about the Sandral Metalli feud? The Sandrals and Metallis have been at odds ever since they came to this planet. And they've been making my life difficult the entire time as well. Now Alan Metalli accuses Nurik Sandral of stealing his son, Shen. Nurik Sandral's own son, Cassis, has been missing for a while now. We do not know what has happened. 
Alan is rash enough and stupid enough to start a war over any imagined slight. We would resolve this, but we have too few Jedi to spare. It must be resolved peacefully. Their estates are both located to the south of the Enclave. The Santro, fairly far. It would normally be your duty to assist in such matters, but your primary task takes precedence. If you are stuck on the planet for a while, you may investigate. I would recommend starting at the estate of Alan Matale. You have a mission to attend to, Padawan. As much as I may wish it otherwise, you are only hope. The Council has placed the fate of the galaxy within your hands. I pray both you and Bastilla are able to emerge from this ordeal as servants of the light. May the Force be with you, young Padawan. Are you sure you don't want to reread that again, homie? It's Bastilla. You see, it's Bastilla. Just saying, you... Like, it's not like you didn't hear the other ones. May the Force be with you. Greetings, young Paddle. As chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I find your quest for knowledge admirable. But I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains... Hmm. Nah. May the Force be... Well, that's it, boys and girls. We're done here. The Metale feud I'm not really all that concerned with. I mean, their son is one of their one of their kids is dead, but I mean, I don't really like. I'm not hard up for it. Ah, eh, we never know. I might come back someday. It's possible. It's always possible. There's always a chance. I'm not beyond it, that's for sure. But it, it's fun. And uh, if that guy does decide to come back and make a fuss, then well, you know. I won't be here. I'll be too busy saving the freaking galaxy to care. So, uh, who cares, right? No big deal there. So, boys and girls. This is it. Huh. Yeah, they are sending me on a mission. I don't think the council would want me to speak so openly about the mission. Okay, warning me about evil. Yeah, trust me, dude. This plant's a fucking hellhole. I. What are you. Alright, what are you talking about? Really? Creatures of, uh, tales of creatures born of the dark side. The Terra Tent? Their Terra Tetec? A beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the forest. Really? Uh, why are you telling me this? All right, the creatures are the creatures. Uh, the creatures are predator, and we Jedi are prey. They are incredibly strong with primal cunning, and they have an inborn resistance to the Force. There are some who believe that to Terra Terra Tent. Okay, fine, whatever. Oh well, I'm not going anywhere that dangerous. So why are you worried about them now? Hmm. Okay, so they only like. So you think they only come out whenever the dark side's at its strongest? I appreciate this, but it's not necessary. Alright, guys, from this point onward, the actual game begins. I know, right? Six, seven, 19 parts in, I can finally say the game actually starts. So, we need to establish our team for our next level that we're going to, our next world we're going to. So, like I said before, the game is built in such a way that it kind of relies on you bringing certain people to certain places. Now, we learned from Lena, or Lena, that uh, Mission's brother was 
on Tatooine. So Mission is going with us. And surprisingly enough, Bastila will be going with us as well because she actually does have a story thread that takes place on Tatooine. You wouldn't know it unless you'd done it before, but she does. Anyways, guys, stay tuned till next time. I am signing out.